Fabulous. Fabulous. Unbelievable. Definitely. Gabriel Fountain, and I'm from New Magic, Missouri. I'm Becky Gould, and I'm from Cottontown, Tennessee. My name is Angelia Slater. I'm originally from Chicago, but I live in Nashville, Tennessee now. I'm Claudia Lemar, and I'm from Henderson, Tennessee, okay. West Tennessee. Uh, my name is David Gould, and I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, uh, Gallatin, just north of Nashville. Well, I had sung under Rod in another choir, and he gave me a call one day and said, Hey, I'm starting this choir. Would love for you to join. And so I prayed about it and said yes. That's how I joined. Well, um, I sung with Rod under the bridge uh, in Jefferson Street. And uh, a few years later, um, I get this text. And it says, hey, is this Angelia? And I text back, yes, Rod, this is me. Evidently, <laughs> right. he didn't lock my number if I lock his That's right. That's how it goes. And so he said that he wanted to um, do some special music in his church. And without mind coming and being a part of that group. And so it was like a, about seven of us there. And so um, I said, sure, because I love to sing, you know. And so uh, I really love to sing to Lord. I'm a worshiper. And so I went. We had that um, the service. Then we had another service. And I'm like, oh, cool. This is good. And then he opened it up to anyone who wanted to come. Oh, uh, I've been in Henderson over 30 years in Henderson uh, community, and I meet uh, Brother Rod, our choir director, uh, 30 years ago. They start his family, uh, Velda and Kern, and his family start to uh, have a, a, a church for us, for the Hispanic community okay. there. And that's how I meet Rod uh, 30 years ago. And uh, I know about his music, and uh, we always stay in touch, but I, uh, he invited me to be part of this. I found so far it's a, it's a, it's, it's a great community. You know, everybody's pretty lovely, and, uh, and, and I, I enjoy it. It brings me back, back to my roots. I would like to see the choir expand even more, reach more people, and the main outcome is to bring them to Christ. Awesome. Uh, I'd say it's given me more confidence in my singing. It has um, trained my voice. I'm able to sing much better than I've ever sung before. Um, actually, I'd been in a car accident and the seatbelt had hurt my um, throat and I wasn't able to sing for a while. But uh, being in the choir and singing regularly, regularly it's built it back up and so it's really helped me develop my voice and my confidence much better what really blessed me was because like I said I I, I, I worshiped with him under the Jefferson Street Bridge just to serve the homeless but to see people from West Tennessee take the color out that's no small matter and so let's say something about him you know and his legacy, his life, you know, that people would give up their time to get on a road and drive two hours or however many hours it takes to get here just to be a part of this. I mean, even though they were once before, they could have said, oh, I hit my day, I'm not going to drive that far. But they still came, and, and that impressed me so much. Yeah. But I mean, it is it's something I look forward to. Sure. It's become an integral part of my life. And I, and I don't know if it's for a season or seasons. Mm -hmm. Well, however long the Lord allow me to be here, I'll be here. When they invite me to be part of this, I'm like, oh Lord, it's, it's, it's the heart. I call like your road. It's the, for me, it's like the little heart of our nation, USA. I mean, I know we're from Nashville, but it's so beautiful for me. It's, it's a special then. Uh, it's a lot of people from different different churches and uh, different uh, communities, different, um, what we can say, uh, 
yeah. uh, areas on the state of Tennessee, yeah. of Nashville, on West Tennessee, East Tennessee. Uh, it's just a special, then this is multicultural, multicultural choir and make it a special. I think I'm the only Mexican, so it's the reason I have my accent. Oh. But this is so special for me because it's, it's just beautiful to be part of this choir to, to minister yeah. from a small to a big event. So this is where make it special the Nashville Community Choir. Awesome. And make it so special because yeah. when they tell us we're gonna to minister to the homeless community here and we all was ready, the whole part, the whole group. Yeah. It's just a beautiful family. Yeah. It's a beautiful family. So beautiful. Mexican American, yeah. black, white, yellow, no no matter what your personality. Yeah. It's hermoso, it's beautiful. Then COVID hit and I just ministry stopped, churches stopped and that hurt a lot. And uh, so when when I got the chance to sing again, to worship and help lead services in that capacity, um, it really, really gave me a voice again. And it's hard to explain not having a voice or feeling like you don't have a voice after you've been hurt so badly, but really it was just giving me a voice and bringing worship back into my life, which I've missed for a long time. And uh, it's really a family. We'll, at every practice, somebody's got a prayer request that we just share through messaging apps and things like that. We'll keep up with each other and still post if somebody's got some something going on in their life that they need prayer for. Um, also, coming alongside these men that have sang in this style very much, a lot more than I have, it's helped grow my confidence in myself and my vocal ability. Um, and just kind of having that community of music that a lot of people don't have or don't think they need. But first and foremost, we are called to worship, and it's really put a lot of that back into my life. Man, you know, I have some big visions and goals for us. I don't know if they're all going to happen in 24, but I am anticipating even a bigger wave of just blessings and miracles. You know, this past year, as you just Mention was an unbelievable time of growth and uh, not just in numbers, but spiritually, we impacted so many people, especially at How Sweet the Sound. And yes, we did win first place in How Sweet the Sound in Atlanta, but that wasn't the biggest part of that event. It was just such a service of um, just God's presence and the unity, not only within our choir, but in every group that was there. It was such an amazing event. And we were so honored to be a part of that, um, how sweet the sound. And moving forward, we're just open to whatever God wants. And I, I'm just looking up and saying, open the heavens, Lord, let it happen. Yeah. So obviously you're trusting God to develop all this on his own terms, right? Um, <laughs> yes, yes. Because you can't really get what you got right. by some formula. Coming no, out of Nashville no. Or we anyway. couldn't have made it happen. You know, obviously we pray and ask God for the anointing every time we get together because the anointing is something that when it shows up, it's like you can't express what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen, but we always ask God to use us. And I, I tell the choir, in fact, I told them tonight, I don't want the people to see us or to see me. I want them to see him. And when you have that mindset and the unity, um, there's just no telling what God's going to do. And you're right, the, um, just the various cultures and backgrounds, not only in that, but even different churches coming together as one has just been blowing my mind. And, and you know what? God has no limits. God has no walls. And so that's who we want to be. That's who we want to be. Awesome.
hey, we're open to anybody. If you love to sing, you love to serve, and you're committed, hey, give us, give us a call, contact us, and we'll keep, it, keep it in, uh, formed on our Facebook page. We'll be announcing tryouts. So we'd love to have you if this is part of who you are. Thank you so much. Thank you. What is your favorite Christmas song? My favorite Christmas song is actually the Little Drummer Boy. <laughs> okay, all right. Any specific reason? I'm a drummer. <laughs> right. good. That's good enough. And thanks so much. Thank you very much. What is your favorite Christmas movie? Oh, it's a Wonderful Life. What's your favorite part? Uh, every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. <laughs> One more question. Okay. What's your favorite Christmas song? Oh, how many? Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Holy Night. I like Little Drummer Boy. Mm -hmm. I like um, Noel. The song, Do You Hear What I Hear? I like that one. So this is your time of year. <laughs> My time of year. <laughs> All right, Christmas question. What is your favorite Christmas movie? Would be It Happened on Fifth Avenue. It's just a very funny, comedic Christmas movie that Everything that could go wrong does go wrong. It, it brings family back together and reunites people that have been estranged and just discordant for a long time. It brings them back together and in a funny way, but then makes you think, I think everybody can find a little bit of themselves in that movie. So. What's your favorite dish for Christmas? Oh, para Navidad son los tamales. Tamales, guacamole. <laughs> para Navidad es traditional tamales. But since I'm being in Tennessee, I'm, um, I'm a Western girl from West Tennessee, so I learned to say how y'all. So now I learn, I love when everybody get together in the church and they bring all the country food. Oh my Lord, I love the country food. I'm crazy about country food. People are like, Claudia, you bring guacamole and cheese dip? And I'm like, no, I'm come for the country food, please. Green beans, beans, a cornbread. Oh, it's my favorite dish. I'm, I'm, I love Tennessee. I love, I'm in love with Tennessee. I used to tell my people in Mexico, when, I have a lot of family in Texas, and I say, when you come and, and, and see Tennessee, it's like the doors of heaven. It's so beautiful. The people are so beautiful. I'm in love with Tennessee. Yeah. I can't help it. Amo a Tennessee. And Tennessee is in love with you. Amo a Tennessee. Gracias. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Tamales para Navidad. Okay. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Gracias.